If you're considering getting online with 4G or 5G broadband, you might be wondering exactly what speeds can you expect at your address? And is 4G or 5G broadband any good in your area? Because often, it's not advertised with a specific download or upload speed. In this video, we've explained how to find out what speeds you'll get with mobile broadband at your address before buying a 4G or 5G broadband plan. But before we begin, thanks to 3 for sponsoring this video. Their 5G hub router offers a simple, cheap way to get online at home using 5G technology. It offers download speeds of about 300 to 500 megabits per second, or sometimes higher, from our testing, and comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, allowing you to test what the speeds are like at your house before committing to the 24-month contract. Click the link in the description to come to the 3 broadband coverage checker and put in your postcode to see if you can get the 3 4G hub or 5G hub at your address. So before buying a wireless broadband plan, a good first step is to check the network coverage map of the network you're going to use to get a good idea of what signal you can expect at your address. So here's the 3 coverage map as an example, and we've put in this postcode. What you want to look at is indoor coverage, because this gives an indication of how good your signal will be inside the house, where your router is located. As we can see on 4G, the coverage is basically flawless here. But if we switch to 5G, the indoor coverage becomes a bit more patchy. Although at this address here, you're still in the middle of this big 5G patch, meaning you get good 5G signal. But what does this mean for the speeds you'll actually end up receiving? As a rule of thumb, if you get good 4G, you can expect download speeds of 30 to 40 megabits per second on most of the big four networks, with an upload speed of about 8 to 12 megabits per second. On 5G, the differences in speeds can be a bit bigger. On the 3 network for us, in an area like this, with good indoor 5G coverage, speeds of 300 to 500 megabits per second are pretty typical, with an average upload speed of about 12 to 15 megabits per second, sometimes a bit higher than this, and sometimes a bit lower. But what about other networks? This is a report from Ookla, looking at the median download speed over 5G of each of the four major networks. As we can see on 3, the mean is sort of similar to the 300 megabit lower end of the spectrum speeds we were seeing, while the 90th percentile is higher. Our speeds are basically in between these two numbers. So although these are averages, and it might vary a bit by address, you can use these numbers to get a rough idea of the speeds you might get on each network. So if we look at Vodafone for example, we also get good indoor and outdoor 5G coverage at that postcode we checked earlier. So you could probably expect a download speed of about 200 to 250 megabits per second based on these numbers over 5G. With EE, it'll probably be 180 to 220 megabits, and with O2, it'll probably be about 150. Just remember though, these numbers are just averages, and using mobile broadband, your speed can vary quite a bit throughout the day, and also by house, so these numbers might not be exact at your address. So in the next section, we'll explain a more specific way to get an idea of the speeds you might receive. So as we just explained, because these speeds can vary quite a lot by network, by street, and even from house to house, a good way to get a more specific idea of the speeds you'll receive is to do a speed test on your phone. What you want to do is test the network you'll be using for mobile broadband using the same way of getting online, either 4G or 5G. If you want to test 5G, make sure the phone you're using for the test is 5G compatible and make sure that the SIM card doesn't have any speed restrictions. With some mobile networks, certain 5G SIMs will be speed restricted, meaning the performance might not be the same as buying a home broadband plan from them. For example, here with EE, this SIM is limited to just 10 megabits per second, and this one is limited to 100 megabits. If you want to test 4G, just go into your phone settings and turn off 5G when you do the speed test. And if you want to use a different network for broadband than the one you're using on your phone, you can either buy a cheap pay-as-you-go SIM for testing, or you might like to borrow a friend or family member's phone and do a speed test at your house to see how their network performs in your area. And it goes without saying, make sure to turn off Wi-Fi before you do the speed test to make sure you're benchmarking your 4G or 5G connection. In general, this method gives you a really accurate way of seeing what your download and upload speeds will be using 4G or 5G broadband at your address, just as long as there aren't any speed limits on the SIM or any similar speed limits on the home broadband plan you end up buying. With the 3 5G hub, there aren't any speed limits, so your speeds with their 5G broadband plans should be pretty much the same as doing a speed test on a phone on the 3 5G network.
There's one more thing you can do to get an even more accurate idea of how wireless broadband performs at your address compared to doing a speed test on your phone. Some wireless broadband providers like 3 have a money back guarantee. This is pretty uncommon with fiber broadband because getting set up is a bit of a process, often involving an engineer visit, if you're upgrading to full fiber at your address for the first time. But with 5G broadband and 4G as well, the setup process is quite easy. You can do it all yourself, meaning that 3 can offer a 30-day return policy. What this means is, with 3 4G or 5G broadband at least, you can buy one of their plans and test out the router's download and upload speeds, as well as Wi-Fi performance, at your address before you commit to using it. If you're not happy with the speeds or any other aspect of the router, you just get in contact with 3 over phone or live chat, and they'll send you a reply paid satchel you can use to return the router and the other equipment back to them. Then they'll cancel the contract and refund what you've paid so far. If you do want to test out 3 5G broadband, click the link in the description to come to their coverage checker and put in your postcode to see if you can get their 4G or 5G broadband service at your address. Then you just choose a plan you want to buy, place the order, and your 5G hub and its equipment will arrive in the mail, normally within one to two business days, allowing you to see what wireless home broadband is like at your address. So thanks for watching, and hopefully, with these methods, you've been able to get a good idea of whether wireless broadband offers good performance at your address or not. And if you have any questions about getting online with 4G or 5G internet, leave us a comment below, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.